Hello everybody, hopefully your quarantine is still going all right. Mine's not going too bad. A little background on myself before I start the story. Hello, my name is Zach Moss. I study US security policy. I want to eventually get my PhD in this. Also, all my sources are in the description box below. Okay, now let's just jump straight into it. Here is an update about the US and Iran relations, specifically what has happened within the last day. The goal of this video essentially is to analyze what exactly is happening. And so you guys don't have to look up a bunch of random videos about what's going on. You guys can just check this video out. You have all the sources and then you can move on with your life. So you don't have to sit in this shit with your boy here. Okay, let's get right into it. Now I'm pulling this article from Al Jazeera. I checked all the sources again, sources in the description box below, but it does a pretty good job summarizing the situation recently. So here we go. According to Al Jazeera, quote, at least 19 sailors were killed, Iranian sailors, and 15 wounded after an Iranian missile fired during a training exercise in the Gulf of Oman struck a support vessel near its target. Okay, so pretty much what happened was that the Iranian military conducting training operations. They were supposed to shoot a desired target. Rather, instead, they shot their own support ship. Now, in these particular situations, understanding what happened is pretty simple. The, the missile system locked onto the wrong target, shot it, done. It sounds so simply where you would imagine there'd probably be more stories like this, at least in the mainstream media. Well, I mean, to the best of our knowledge, that doesn't actually happen that often. The last time, the best that I can think of was in, I think it was, yeah, it was 2016. It was with Taiwan where a situation like this happened. Other than that, this doesn't really happen that often, which kind of makes it sound even worse. And I hate to say it, but in addition to that, too, I mean, you have, what, 176 people that were killed because Iran shot down a Ukrainian jet not too long ago, like a passenger jet. It was just innocent people flying by. They accidentally shot it down. So now you have two issues with the Iranian military making mistakes, which obviously is a red flag. So that's kind of like we're all caught up there. Before that, too, you have an Iranian vessel, which I just made a video on. Um, There's an Iranian vessel. I think it was about 11 of them circulating around about nine U.S. ships or so, give or take a few. And I'm rattling off the top of my head here, so bear with me. They're circulating around. Essentially, they're smaller boats. They're supposed to be quick, have a mounted automatic weapon on the very front. So they're circulating around. The last time this had happened, because there was multiple times, it lasted about an hour. The U.S. Navy, what they pretty much did was they have a really... <laughs> It's like an ear-piercing, soul-crushing, loud horn. And they just blasted their horn. Essentially, if you imagine like somebody in road rage, like, move, bitch, get out the way. That's pretty much exactly what happened, but in like international waters and war terms. So then after that, they use, they have this like really loud, it's like a, a noise frequency generator where the U.S. Navy will blast certain sound frequencies that are just soul-crushing. So they also use that as well. That's kind of how it ended right there. That sounds a little scary, which it kind of is, but also at the same time, generally speaking, especially with the Cold War, when these things start to ramp up, you know shit's about to go down when there's a warning shot that's fired. But given the fact that the U.S. Navy didn't fire a warning shot, that's kind of a good sense if you're trying not to go into war. Now, the question is, what do they do moving forward? Well, the U.S. military is a little confused about what they should be doing as well, because they have their own certain standards and policies and procedures. But President Trump came out with a tweet and he said that the U.S. military should be shooting those ships in the future. However, they didn't exactly receive any specific orders from their CEO, which is the commanding officer, telling them, as a matter of fact, you should be doing this. So they're like reading this tweet saying, should we do it? And their commanding officers haven't briefed them to tell them to do it. And they also have their own standards and procedures that they do in situations like this. So it's a little muddled. It's like, what do we do? In addition to that, even farther back, you obviously have the situation where the uh, the U.S. military, or excuse me, the, the Pentagon killed uh, Soleimani, who was the Iranian uh, commander or their general. So all sorts of tensions escalating right now. I will be very curious to see what happens. But given the fact that we didn't shoot a warning shot, is a, it, that's, a, that's a good sign. We should just take that as the W. However, Iran is also making a certain amount of mistakes, which now they have a track record of, and the U.S. government is trying to push our U.S. military into having a confrontation with them. So we will see. Anyway, thought you guys would like this update. That is all you need to know about the situation. Thank you very much for listening. Peace out.